Hi, and today I'm going to show you some partitions concepts and job scheduling in Analysis Services and Management Studio. There is some using and tools that are Microsoft and Analysis Services embedded to Visual Studio also. I'm using and Management Studio for job scheduling. Uh, also, I use it in database sample from a Microsoft and websites. I'm using Adventure Road 2019 database. Now I tell about a, a commerce database. An example, I'm using partition concept. How how can we do this concepts and how can we embed it to job scheduling code examiner code? I try to tell about some steps. That's my first step is defining any data source to Visual Studio. That's also you can open this new project. Now I can write and tabular models. As you see, I can click analyze the services tabular project. Okay. Now if you don't uh, see any and tabular project, you should install uh, analyze the services and uh, Microsoft website documentations. Now now that's my first step is import and data source. I using in database as you see SQL Server database. I can click connect. Now that's my database uh, integrated and in my local host. Also you, I can write only that or local host. I'm going to OK. In other steps in I using I see credential to access uh, also. That's my database in now there is no a uh, credential there is no login and password i only enter i only use this login uh, without an username or, or password therefore i can click in person a service account i can connect click also other screens uh, tell about some and um, database there is some database uh, adventure works 2019 i'm using in here project now that's okay. Now, as you see, that's my uh, Adventure Works 2019 database sample. Uh, content about and a commerce data sets, data tables, view and tables. As you see, there's some schema, for example, person, uh, productions, and sales and purchasing, human resource, and something like that. Uh, there's some transaction time uh, information about. A commerce data now in this project I using only and says order detail okay I found it and I can click also there is some information about sales order ID and quantity and some primary and foreign key and product ID <clears throat> unit price and line totals okay that's enough and here and as you see modify date uh, that's my uh, partition concepts established based on modified date. I create and uh, I established partition concepts based on modified date. Okay. In this project, in this steps, I can click only load. Okay. I wait for this and validation. By the way, a uh, tabular project embedded in Visual Studio run uh, with uh, technologies a word pack. Word pack that and in memory concepts, and you can use all and huge volume of you can uh, operate and process all of this project, and you can retrieve different uh, data source. For example, Azure AWS and and different and for example Excel JSON uh, structured data, you can use as a data source. Also, you can operations in here ETL process transformation and create calculate columns and uh, measures and create tables also you can run some different uh, query uh, also there is some there is uh, this program occur some different ad advantages for using also this tabular project save of your and uh, unnecessary operation microsoft and power bi also business intelligence tool okay I can click now. Other step is create partitions. As you see, that's my sales order detail. Defining 
Also, I can click partitions. Now I have two uh, two part. First one is hot, second one is cold. Hot data represent my dynamically data. For example, that's my order database. Sometimes there is some changing status order status. For example, uh, my order status will change as cancellations and complete and returning. There is some different and um, status order. Sometimes my uh, hot data change in specific times. Therefore, uh, I'm using in job scheduling. Also, I will show that uh, in the steps only using uh, hot and cold data separations. Okay. Now that's my first steps. I can click design. Uh, I will show that. That's my I search. Modify date. I can click left also daytime filters and I can click after. Also, uh, by the way, I have to show that my modify date. And as you see, that's my database, modify database, including 2014. Uh, it's start to begin 2011. Okay. I separate in this project only and would easily I se uh, separate uh, 2014 start to begin for hot uh, partitions uh, other called uh, partitions uh, separate other historical data now i will show that now i can click left again data time filters after so after and clicked and in here by the way i can change <clears throat> and 1 january and 20 2014 okay is after or equal to okay it is reasonable otherwise i can import my partitions in the steps i partitions just one and uh, other one is new and create called uh, partitions called partitions statically is not dynamically now it is to present historical data therefore i have to separate and call data Okay, I can click here option sign. Now, only change is before, is before is enough. Okay, and now I can import and the same operations before hot, hot and cold data. Also, I can name hot data, that's representation hot data. Just that's one is cold data. I can click okay. Also, you can and establish and dynamically data time as you see i clicked partition again as you see that's my modified date greater than or equal it's my power query editor generate and m code you can change in here and start begin modify date and end parenthesis also you can visit my uh, medium.com uh, documentation there is some business intelligence, different projects uh, with using uh, Microsoft Power BI, AWS, and Alisa services. And here, uh, some dynamically M code. You can copy and here past. Now, that's return to dynamically code. There is some functions, date and update. It represents before 10 days of in here. Also, you can uh, change. As you wish okay I can click okay now that's my partition process complete also I have to some uh, ways first following is and partitions clicked and cut and hot data I can change process fuel okay complete also last step is in here start deployment for send it analysis services okay complete also i can pass management studio in here you can click analysis services with database engine database engine is including job scheduling also analysis services including models okay that's my first step is reach to model now that's my model name is a pro table project uh, 26 also you can see here 
and saves order detail and define it also there's hot and cold data now i using only hot data cold data skip okay there it's a i'm using only integrations hot and job scheduling with hot data cold data is skipped here i can click script script will generate here now i can and copy here there is three parameters database table and partitions also i can copy also i can found and equals or regent also in here and jobs and that's my jobs and uh, click left also steps and in here i can pass in here okay as you see that's xml format it represent it's a data retrieve only hot separation because my hot and partitions represent my dynamically because there is no necessary and using cold data there are, there is some and uh, advantages and benefits this a uh, partition concept for example uh, my job scheduling time decrease dramatically it's important for using and big data projects also, if you have huge volume of your data, it will run this uh, concept. Also, you can save and uh, wasting operations business intelligence tool. There is no necessary uh, partition concept decrease and job scheduling time and decrease and storage using that uh, CPU and in memory systems. Uh, also, there is a uh, good optimizations of performance of your using models, tableau project models. Now, there is, as you see, there is some uh, benefit. This is important for using a uh, job scheduling. Uh, okay, uh, it is the last one step is uh, start job as steps. As you see, also you can and uh, scheduling and time depends on your uh, options opinions okay <clears throat> i can click close now also you can follow this is my medium.com uh, you can uh, see any different project business intelligence projects and partition concepts and job scheduling concepts also analyze the services and different uh, technical informations and transactions in here I try to tell about some partition concepts and job scheduling. Thank you for listening or watching. Have a good night. Have a good day.